Hello, my name is Morgan Taschuk, and I'm here to talk to you about meso limbs. So here's a quick outline of the talk. Um, it's only five minutes, so I'm going to run through this. Um, I'm going to talk about what meso limbs is, what we're, we've been doing for the last nine years, the terror of version numbers, and what meso 1.0 means for us. So what is MISO? MISO is a laboratory information management system specifically designed for technicians and sequencing laboratories. It lets technicians record information about lab processes, including sample preparation and processing, quality controls and checks and measures, kits used, instrument runs, that kind of thing. This is what it looks like. So we have two main goals with MISO. First, we want to record laboratory activities. We want to reduce the amount of disjoint between what a person actually does in the lab and uh, how they translate that into their data entry while still keeping the data rigorous enough and making data entry suck less. Uh, second, we want to make the information entered in a way that lets us automate analysis and creates reports. Everything is validated to the extent available at entry times, so there's no going back and correcting simple problems like strings and integer fields, and we also have an API that lets us computationally access everything we need in a standard way. Um, but I'm not actually here to tell you about Mises features. If you want to hear those, there's a technology track t talk tonight, and I will also be at a poster later on. What I want to talk to you about is 1.0. Um, over the course of my career, it seems like people are really reluctant to use the version number 1.0. Maybe it feels momentous um, for some little tiny piece of code. Maybe you know that it works most of the time for most features, but you're in the middle of developing another feature anyway, and you know it's not really funded anymore, so it just feels kind of lame to slap a version number on it and put it up. And the test coverage isn't as good as you like, and shouldn't you be writing a paper on it? <laughs> so I actually think that perfect is the enemy of good in this case, and we shouldn't be afraid of this little 1.0 number, um, especially when something's been under development for nine years. Uh, so Rob Davey at the Earlham Institute started it in 2010, uh, Miso Limbs. Uh, it was made open source in 2012, and it was presented at ISMB that year. Um, my institute, OICR, picked it up in 2015, and it became our production in limbs in 2017. And now it's 2019. It's time. So we have drawn an arbitrary line in our sand, and we've chosen now as our time to go for 1.0. Why now? There's several reasons, including our ballooning patch version numbers, because we've only ever updated the patch version number and our growing community. But the real shove was that OICR has decided to become CAP accredited. I'll talk about that in a minute. So what is MISO 1.0? I joke, but we're just as serious and arbitrary as anyone else when it comes to 1.0. So our team sat down and came up with a list of acceptance criteria um, that would soothe our numbering anxieties. I'll go into them in a little bit of detail. So the first thing is everything works and is documented, and everything should be in quotes here. Um, we're concentrating mostly on core features. Um, we're looking at bug reports that people submit. We're looking at features that our team uses regularly, um, test coverage and refactoring code to be easier to debug and maintain. But we're not going too overboard with this because it is being used in a production facility, so we're pretty sure that it works most of the time. But we're being kind to our future selves. Part of this is also keeping the user manual up to date, which details everything that we think works, and it's at that URL there. Um, as I mentioned before, that we're going for CAP accreditation. OICR is harrying down this path, and I'm champing at the bit to say, MISO is used in a CAP accredited laboratory. Um, so we want to be compliant with clinical requirements. Um, that would let us uh, analyze, uh, will we achieve industry standards for clinical laboratory tech um, laboratory testing has dozens of requirements. We're still in progress. There's an enormous spreadsheet. It, it's ongoing. Um, the third thing is we want to start helping our community. We have a tiny nebulous community that's almost trying to start. We just broke through 100 stars on the project and we have 52 forks and there's a slow and steady trickle of incoming bug reports. I love bug reports, by the way. Um, we want to help our community help ourselves, so we're doing things like we have a Docker container to make it relatively easy to start up. Everything can be configured, um, everything should be configured through the web app instead of by an administrator. There shouldn't be any need for the command line, things like that. Um, we also updated our styling a little bit, so you can see the old on the left and the new on the right. 
Um, and the number of things, mostly the new logo we were excited about, and we also changed the general color scheme from blue to purple. Um, so our target for 1.0 is late 2019, and so my core message here is don't be afraid of the 1.0. Set your own arbitrary line in the sand and put your stake down, and it is whatever you make of it. So where you can find Miso, it's open source, it's available there. You can install it easily with Docker Compose. We're on Twitter, um, and here at ISMB you, and uh, Bosk, you can see more at the poster in the technology talk. And thanks so much to the team who did all the hard work. <laughs>